It was the end of another day of hard work on Little Brook Farm. And 50 the tractor was taking a flock of sheep down to the barn. Wally was going to trim their woolly coats off in the morning, and he wanted to keep them dry through the night. In you come, said Wally. It's nice and dry in the barn. And in they came. Six woolly sheep following 50 the tractor. The youngest was very excited. Her name was Spinning Jenny, and she had never been in a barn before. Sleep tight, said Wally. See you in the morning. And away he went. I'm too excited to sleep, said Spinning Jenny. I have to take a quick spin. Is that all right? Be my guest, said Fifty. So away went Spinning Jenny for a quick spin round the barn. It's very hot in here, said Spinning Jenny when she came to a stop. Don't worry, said Norris. You'll be cooler tomorrow when Wally trims your wool off. Spinning Jenny couldn't believe her ears. I don't want my wool trimmed off. Oh, don't worry, said Marina the sheep. It's what we do. And Marina settled down with the other sheep for a good night's rest. The next morning, Fifty woke to the sounds of sheep in trouble. She's gone. Spinning Jenny slipped out in the night. She doesn't want her wool taken off. So Fifty the tractor set off in search of Spinning Jenny. Where are we going? said Norris the rat. To find a lost sheep, said Fifty. Up in the blackberry paddock, Cordelia the cow was trying to find a tasty breakfast treat. Wild fennel would be nice, said Cordelia. But instead, she found a sheep. Hello, said Cordelia. What are you doing here? I'm hiding, said Spinning Jenny. Back at the barn, Wally had arrived to trim the sheep. Are we all here, said Wally. And he started to count the sheep. One... Two, three. Oh, try to keep still. I can't count you if you keep moving. I know. I'll count you as I trim you. Who wants to be number one? Out in the Blackberry paddock, Fifty and Norris were looking for spinning Jenny. And they drove past Cordelia the cow. Have you seen spinning Jenny? said Fifty. She's hiding, said Cordelia. I know that. Where is she hiding? Oh, that would be telling. Yes, said Norris. It would be telling us. All right. She's hiding behind the blackberry hedge. And so she was, but not very well. Back at the barn, Wally had finished trimming some of the sheep. One more trimmed and tidy, said Wally. One, two, three sheep trimmed and tidy. One, two, three sheep still to trim. Out in the blackberry paddock, Fifty was having trouble with spinning Jenny. You must come back to the barn, said Fifty. I don't want to. I want to keep my woolly coat on. You'll be much cooler without it, said Fifty. I don't want to be cool. I want to be woolly. Careful, said Fifty. Don't get into a spin. Not in there. But spinning Jenny wouldn't listen. And she started spinning in the brambles. Oh, what a tangled web she weaves, said Norris. And tangled she was. Her woolen coat snagged up in the long blackberry brambles. No problem, said Norris. This is a job for Mr. Scissors. Back at the barn, Wally had trimmed five of the sheep. There should be six, he said. Where's number six? Come back inside, said Wally. I want to count you. I think someone's missing. Wally counted the sheep as they came into the barn. 
One sheep, two sheep. Outside in the yard, 50 arrived back with spinning Jenny. Three sheep, four sheep. Hurry up, said 50 as spinning Jenny jumped down to join the line. Five sheep, six sheep. All six trimmed and tidy. Well done, 50. And off went the sheep back to their paddock, cool as cucumbers without their thick woolly coats. Even spinning Jenny was happy to be trimmed. And Wally had plenty of wool for the farmer. It was a great start to another day of hard work on Little Brook Farm.